haven't seen a problem. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is actually version four of the car. We started with version one in February this year. We wanted to just prove the concept. So that was very much a modified 319 platform. And it was born out of the idea of we've probably gone as far as we can go down the conventional road with eight scale. Trying to make something even faster and even easier to work on for the customers. And we took the decision to run it this weekend, but the concept here is running and yeah, we're having a ball. Really clear objectives with this car. We wanted to get the center of gravity as low as possible, really get it on the deck, get that weight down, and we wanted to make the car as easy as possible for people to just pick up and use it. No stiction, full suspension travel like you'd see on any other 8th scale car, but just done in a completely different way. Instantly you can feel as soon as you leave the pit lane is that low C of G. As soon as you get into turn one or any of the fast corners, you can feel that weight down low. And We want something that's going to go and win races with people like Lee Martin, but we also want our customers just to have a really nice time racing. Along our development path, we've come into so many stumbling blocks to get to the point where we are now. Getting these shocks down as low as possible when you've got four-wheel drive transmission system has been really, really difficult. And it's taken four versions to be able to get it to a point where it looks correct, it looks right. So this weekend's been a baptism of fire. So car performance was excellent. Unfortunately, I broke it. Kind of set the tone of uh, yesterday for us because we actually hadn't noticed that we'd, we'd broken one of the, the rear roll bar mounts. And so I ran yesterday on a high traction track after Quali 1 with no rear roll bar. Uh, with the 3D printed arms and gearbox cases, uh, it's actually incredible that we can run it in the first place. Just to be here, I mean, five years ago, this would have been impossible. we can prove the concept in multiple locations if we're going to get a journey pack together and go and visit all other track scenarios just to make sure we're seeing there what we see here and then this will get pushed forward into a full production kit it's not a conversion this a422 is the plan and if we don't quite meet that then it would be the a423 it's been absolutely fantastic to see the feedback here the feedback the good and the bad the people questioning what we're up to we're all in this hobby because we love it and yeah, it absolutely reignites the flame inside to come and prove something and get out there and get those big race wins like we have before on our previous platforms. This whole project is such a collaboration of talented people from our designer to Lee Martin, our own Mark Rumble, and equally my mechanics this weekend have been unbelievable. It's just awesome to see the Nemo spirit come through and that is actually born out in this car. It's, uh, it's got a bit of everybody in this, but watch this space, we are coming.